Hello everyone. Ah, I wanted to share with you this new battery charger that I have purchased. I was so much into the Nightcore uh, battery chargers and uh, suddenly, you know, I realized if I now wanted to buy a new one what should I buy? After long research about all of these battery chargers in terms of value for money <coughs> I found this one the name is Brilli Power X4 charger it has all the capabilities of the Nightcore chargers and more. And the LCD is much better than the new uh, Nightcore i4 intelligent i4, and it displays everything. I show you later on. <coughs> but for the time being, this is the box nothing written on the side and I have opened the package uh, everything is out ready for you <clears throat> it has this guarantee for 180 days I think you can pause and read if you want and the back it's the same, you just have to fill in your particulars. <clears throat> this is this was the guarantee and this is the manual. And then you just take this away for you to just be able to pause and read if you want. focus yeah and then the back yeah so <coughs> we put everything and uh, it came in here and there was a 12 volt 2 amp adapter there so let's put this aside for the time being <coughs> This is the charger. I put it in the mains and show it to you in a moment. It came with a plastic protective wrap around this. Uh, I think it's a plastic, it's not a glass. And with the adapter, it's one of those generic adapters that you can purchase, you can read if you want 12 volt 2 amps <coughs> and this is the old night core that I had that is really very basic it has three lights when the charge is complete they are all you know lighting up and when it's charging they are just blinking in stages one two and three very simple but recently i realized that this port is not charging the 18650 batteries to the full it just keeps on blinking two of these lights not the full one but the other three they are good <coughs> and this one runs on the mains voltage and the 12 volt uh, in case of car if you in in your car you want to charge your batteries uh, this one can do that but it didn't come with a uh, car charger for this 
car adapter or whatever. So I had this one, and for many years I had that one. So I decided, you know, to upgrade this one. The price, if you want to purchase this from China, is fifteen pounds. And if you want to purchase in London or UK, is about twenty-five pounds. So let's look at this. In addition to everything that the other one, the night court did, it has the <coughs> USB port out, and instead of having electric mains. And the 12 volt input, it has only 12 volt input. Because when you think about it, if you can have the 12 volt uh, that it works in the house and in the car, but it didn't come with the charger, car charger, okay? And it has a screen, I put it in the electricity now, and everything else is, you know, uh, is more or less the same, but the screen. And I have to tell you, this one doesn't work, the USB out, it doesn't work when you are connected to the mains. It acts as a power bank you have to put your batteries in here and then this one can charge your devices whichever that may be so let's connect it to the mains and see how it goes <coughs> This is all 12 volts. First time when you just connect it, all lights they are showing and then going to empty or null. Okay, this one is capable of charging. <coughs> Uh, the IMR batteries, uh, Leo Ion and Life Po 4 batteries, as well as Nima and NICAT batteries. And it uh, goes up to double A, triple A, quadruple A, and C size batteries. <coughs> and you can change. The amperage suitable for your batteries, the amperage might be 500 milliamp or 1 amp. This one shows the time and the milliamp hour and the voltage that is charging. And when, it, when the charge is full, it's just showing here charge and then end and then here. Uh, it says uh, full. Let's uh, put a battery in there and show you. Of course, I don't have a battery that is flat, flat. But let's try with one of these. We put it in this third port, and as we put it in there, it shows the voltage of the battery. And then it's just checking up if that battery has enough charge. And when it's che no, checking up, uh, starting to charge, it says charging there. And show you the percentage of the charge. This one at the moment is at 60%. <coughs> and on each side, it has some... Uh, buttons that it says a slot 3, a slot 4 and a slot 1 and 2 yeah and for instance when you are you want this battery that you put in there 
to charge at one amp uh, you just have to select the slot button and then hold it for a while and then it goes to one amp <clears throat> and then if you just touch it once it shows you the voltage again milliamp hour the capacity of the battery and then the time that is on the charge <coughs> and then you can ch choose the battery that you want uh, manually but it's not recommended uh, by holding that uh, slot button as well is doing the same so <coughs> this is what it is and I show you the, now the USB charger just hold on a second I'm coming back Still, I'm recovering from my cold and throat problem that I had. As you see now, I put this charger doctor and nothing shows. And as soon as I take the mains out, look what is happening. It just because the battery is in there now is showing you the USB you can use the USB now and you can charge it up to one amp any devices that you have up to one amp uh, it is 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 a novel idea but I don't think it's going to you know somehow catch up because uh, as you see the USB port you think assume that that one is ready to do the charging and in the description in the manual it doesn't say anything about it that you have to use batteries uh, I just uh, mentions that uh, you can use this as power bank. So this was a very small and short video about this Brilli Power X4 intelligent charger, and I'm really happy. And uh, if you uh, like this I recommend you to buy it from China for 15 quid 16 quid uh, if you can wait but if you can't wait buying it from here is another 10 pounds on top of it so it's up to you but is for the time being according to my tests it's good it's versatile it shows you all uh, possible uh, uh, statistics that you want to see and uh, it has the capability of charge of 500 milliamp and 1000 milliamp and it, it shows everything that you need more or less and it can charge um, pretty all kind of batteries and C, C size batteries as well you know I think uh, you can do it on these two ports because they are a little bit wider and uh, I hope you like this video and you like this item if you have any uh, anything to say to me about this just leave a comment below and I get back to you so until my next video have a great time and take care of yourself and each other.